Hello everyone. Today I want to show you the different way to create a shortcut, uh, you know, in the for the SharePoint Drive folder. Normally, what the people wants to do is, uh, like a, I log in as a David Smith. If I I see I have already configured the OneDrive, and then I go to the Documents, and I click. I click sync. When I click sync, it will create a folder on the in the user profile to synchronize all the folders you know in the SharePoint documents. Like if I go to this computer and I go to C Drive Users, David Smith, you see just a CCQ twenty twenty is created. If I open this one and just open this documents folder. In the SharePoint, and then it synchronize all the folders, you know, from the SharePoint. So, and uh, you the create a mask group. So he wants to, you know, set a shortcut for the important, uh, you know, fo folders or files which is in different location. Create a shortcut here in the mask group. So the user can go to the mask group and open the. You know, other files from the shortcut. So if David Smith map the you know folder for the SharePoint you know drive to his computer, then he can do is he can go to the other folder, like uh, you know, if for example this test Excel, he can just create right click and then click uh, create a shortcut. And also, he can do the same for the printer folder. Uh, create a shortcut. After this, he can just cut this shortcut and then put it into the must group. Paste. So, after this, you know, if, if the user Log into the logs into his computer. Next time, he can just go to the mask group to open the shortcut, which will open the important file he created, you know, maybe before. So, like Excel, or you know, if you go to printer, go to this directly to the folder. So, this is the easy way for him to find the important files. But this only works on his computer, you know, because the shortcut uh, he created this way only works when he, you know, sync the SharePoint folder, you know, to his computer. If he goes to the SharePoint site and then try to this on his computer, if he go to the goes to the SharePoint site and tries to open the Shortcut. He get this one. He can't open. So this only works on his computer. So and also, if I log off, if I sign out of the from David Smith. And I sign in as another user, Joseph. Then if I go to the File Explorer. Joseph Lee also configured the OneDrive and also map the SharePoint documents to his profile. He goes to the folder, then goes mask group, open shortcut. So.
mass group got this one so also Joseph Lee can open this shortcut from the you know SharePoint site website so if I go uh, go back so how can we create a shortcut you know on the SharePoint side to open the file then I just uh, show you so if I go to the documents go to engineering let's see we want to create a shortcut to point to this test documents document file then we just create connect the three doors and then we click copy link click copy and then close this one then we go back to the must group and then we click new on the top we create click link paste the link here We put the name and then we click create. So after we create this link here in the folder, we can just click it now. And it opens the file on the from the SharePoint side. And also if we go back to the you know the uh, map the drive on the user in the user profile. We can go to this must group again. We see this test document is created. We just this one. Yeah, so it's also opening. So today I just show you two different ways. One is to you know map the drive, map the SharePoint folder to the a uh, single SharePoint folder to your computer, and then you create a shortcut. But this only works on the computer. You know, does not work on the SharePoint side. The other way is to create a link on the SharePoint, and then you. Copy the link for the file or folder and then create a link, you know, to the SharePoint folder and then you can open from the SharePoint site also from the, you know, uh, map the drive on the user computer. There's two ways to, you know, create a shortcut. Thank you.